When it comes to largemouth bass fishing, you tell me what guy that likes to fish for bass wouldn't want to fish for the holy grail and that's a largemouth bass that weighs more than 10 pounds. Well, if you look at the record books around the United States, there are some, but they're far and few between. But there are places that you can go to put the odds of catching a double-digit largemouth bass way in your favor. In the year 2000, Bob and I got a call from a guy out of the blue, Nick Fox from Nick Fox Outdoors. He's in St. Louis, Missouri, and he runs Nick Fox Jewelers. He says, hey, I've been uh, watching your show for a long time, and, and I put together fishing trips with guys all around the world, but my specialty is going to Lake Bacharach down in Mexico fishing for giant largemouth. And I remember back when I was younger, watching Roland Martin going to Lake Bacharach and catching giant bass in this lake that was just starting to fill up. And I thought, oh my God, if only I could go there someday. And here there is a guy on the phone inviting us to go. Might be your first grande, Bob. Ooh, here it comes. Oh, yeah, I'd say that's a grande. <laughs> right. Can you Ooh. say Chihuahua? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the rest is history. We've been going down there for almost 13 years now. And over the years, we've had a lot of fun and caught a lot of big bass. And towards the end of the show today, we're gonna to take you to the top 10 big bass catch countdown. So stay with us, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Every chance I get, there's a place I go Where the bass are biting as the sun hangs low There's a feeling I get that I hope will never end On a deep clear lake or an Ozark stream I kick back, relax, and I start to dream About what Mother Nature has a waiting around the bend Hey, Larry and Bob will take me Quality Ford dealers present Outdoors in the Heartland with Bob Richardson and Larry Woodward. And here's the man that made our first trip to Backrack possible in year 2000. But Nick, you've been going there for how many years? 18 years this year. If you're a person who's unlike or, or much like a big game hunter looking for the biggest white-tailed deer, elk, or moose, if you're after a 10-pound plus or bigger bass, the best chances you have to go is go to Lake Backrack. I think we've proved that in, since 2000 fishing with you. And no question because uh, Lake Backrack is the only lake that's had two 19 pounders out of uh, all of uh, southern United States and other than maybe Lake Fork, maybe a 20 pounder, they hold the record for Latin fishing, that's for sure. Oh. Six, seven pounder. Here he comes up again, Josh. Why didn't that eat my top order bait? Big mama. How big? Seven and seven and a half. Good job, partner. Welcome to Big Mama's house. You know, the lake differs. It's how many acre lake when it's full? 35,000 acres of pool, but it's not a pool most of the time. It, it's, it's in the mountains and the desert. So weather from year to year greatly affects this lake. Because some years we're there and you'll see in the footage where we're fishing and you'll see the tree line will be look like hundreds of feet up above us. But then there's been a couple of years when the water's way up into those trees. When a hurricane has come by recently, something in the lake fluctuates up and down. Fishing varies from year to year. But the thing is that year after year after year, no matter if the fishing is the best or just average, somebody's going to catch some 10 plus pound bass. 
There's always big fish caught and the fluctuation can be a hundred feet sometimes. So the lake regenerates itself with oxygen and comes up in the new areas with new growth. But constantly people catch big fish. The, the numbers just vary according to what the lake level is, yeah. Check out OITH.com or go to Facebook.com slash Outdoors in the Heartland. Every week there's going to be prizes, giveaways, and contests. This segment of Outdoors in the Heartland is brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers and Mercury Marine. On there, girl. Oh, <laughs> I knew if I stuck with this top water bait, it would pay off. Gonna jump. Oh, oh. my god, Don't another 10 pounder. Oh, gosh, does it get any better? I don't know how much longer I can keep this fish on. It's barely hooked. That's bigger than one you caught yesterday. I don't think so. No, yeah. <laughs> what a way to start off the morning. And I will tell you, I have caught so many fish on this bait, and I'm lucky that I got it in. He's spitting kings, got two sets of hooks. And fortunately, it was in there. What a beautiful fish. Now I know one of the things that people think about is when you talk about going to Mexico and the dangers. Well, I don't know if you look turned on the news in, in uh, the lower 48 lately, but in every major city there's murder after murder after murder of thugs on thugs and things. And all the years you've been going to Bacharach in Mexico and all the years we've been going, we have never once had a problem with the law or even had a Mexican citizen look at us funny. Uh, we traveled in big groups to right. and from the lake into the airport. We've never had a problem, never felt safer. That's the key is always just going in groups and always just having a Mexican driver and going directly from the airport to the lake. And I, I it can happen anywhere. It, it, any violence can happen, but I, I think it's much safer to go to Mexico than it is to go to Chicago. Oh, absolutely. You got that right. Tell the folks what you offer in services. How does a, a trip to Lake Bacharach start? They, they, they contact you and then how's things go? Uh, packages start from three days to four nights. We don't have anything less than that. And, and it's two to a room, two to a person. So we don't book singles. And most of the time we like four people because it's a five hour ride from Mazatlan to the lodge. So it helps compensate for the transportation that we take. But you can make any package you want. You could book the whole lodge, that's 28 people. So we have 14 rooms and we kind of custom everything to your group. So anything you want to do is possible. Each morning you leave their lodge. It's been built in the last five years. Yeah, so it's a very nice lodge right on the lake. Yeah. Very nice, two people uh, occupy each room. Right. Breakfast, lunch, dinners are phenomenal. And if you travel with this guy's group, you're probably gonna have some fun. Just take a look at this. One of the things I like best about going to Backrack is the people that work at the lodge. Now, if your person likes to have fun when you come in at night, I mean, the margaritas flow and the guys all have a great time and uh, it don't get any better than that. And also, Nick, one thing I think we want to bring up is what time frame do people have throughout the year to come fish Lake Backrack? Well, the lodge is open from December until May, but the best time, uh, if somebody wanted to be on the spawn and try and catch fish in shallow water, it would probably be from January 1st till the end of March. 
So over the years, you've seen somebody's rod all bowed up and see the guide grab the net and somebody's yelling grande or mucho grande. So in Mexican fishing terms, uh, translate those words. Uh, grande would be anything over eight pounds and that's what we keep a record of at the lodge is a, a book full of eight pounders or more and a mucho grande would be over 10 pounds. There's more people that catch 10 plus pound bass at Lake Backrack than any other lake in the world. Stay tuned folks because the top 10 catches from Lake Backrack are coming up right here on Outdoors in the Heartland.